Hello, beautiful citizens of Los Santos, and welcome to the first official episode of Simp King. We're going to go over the rules of our show here. We have five handsome, gorgeous contestants, three lovely ladies. Each contestant will have one minute with each lady to knock their socks off. As you can see, we're obviously recording this show for later, so that you at home can watch this show. All three girls will be present here on the stage and will be the ones scoring. I will additionally will be providing a fourth impartial score. Once a contestant's time is up, he'll be moving on to the next lady. When the contestant's done with all three ladies, they'll stand next to me and the scoring will begin. With that being said, let our contest begin. And let me welcome our first guest, all right, Mr. Black, are you ready to go? Yeah, sure. All right, Mr. Black, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, just a wannabe criminal turned to mechanic. I guess I'm a simp at the end of the day. Wannabe criminal who's turned into a mechanic. How have you turned your life around, Mr. Black? Well, when you get caught for drug trafficking, it gets a little difficult. Ooh, uh, caught for drug trafficking. That is not good. Not good at all. Well, Mr. Black, you know the rules here. You understand what's going on. We have three gorgeous ladies here for your opportunity to simp on them. If you wouldn't mind approaching them a little bit closer here, sir, so they can, you can fully see them. Appreciate every curve of their body there. Amazing. Just out of this world. Oh, these ladies have prepped. They've preened themselves to look the best. You have one minute with each lady. Your choice on who you want to start with is all yours. Just let me know your choice and we'll begin that timer there. Uh, you know what? We'll start on the right here. All right. Your time starts hello, now. Hello. Go ahead, Mr. Black. Hey, how's it going, miss? Uh, wh wh what's your name? Oh, I'm Quimbley. Hey, Quimbley. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Well, I'm Charles. Um, Quimbley, what, 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 you, uh, what you do around the city for fun these days? Oh, I'm a stripper. Oh, you're a stripper down at the VU? Well, you know, mm -hmm. what about that, uh, um, what about that, uh, like, privatized business? You ever do anything, uh, private for fun? Uh, um, no. You don't wanna, you don't ever just invite people home just to uh, enjoy their, uh, personal presence around you? You're halfway through your Not time, really. Mr. Black. Oh, well, It's kind of um, creepy. Eh, you know, creepy enough, but, uh, you know, uh, if, 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 uh, you're, you're ever down at the VU, I might, uh, just have to come by sometime and uh, make sure to pay you, a, pay you a visit and make sure you get a good tip at the end of the night. I do love money. Who doesn't like money? Money's a, money's a great thing. All right, Mr. Black, any closing statements? Um, you know, I, if, if, uh, if, if you need a good simp, uh, money's always a necessity, so uh, you never know how good the money can be around, and uh, hopefully I can be the one to give you lots of money. Oh, you got like shit. an OnlyFans Your page? time okay. is up there, okay. Mr. Okay. Black. I'll let you choose which of these next two lovely ladies you would like to go with. All right, we'll keep going down the list right to the middle. All right, your time starts now. Go ahead. How's it going? What's your name? Callie. Nice to meet you, Callie. I'm Charles Black. Uh, what, what do you do for fun? For fun? I don't know. I just I hang out with people. You hang out with people? Okay, what do you do with people? What do you mean? I'm, I don't know. We do a bunch of stuff. We drive around. We talk. Okay, so are you like driving around? Do you do do you go fast in your cars? Do you like oh yeah going on the highway? Yeah. Right, well, what's I, what's I your what's your favorite good. fastest car? Mm, uh, my new car, my my little simp gift, my Komoda. Happy oh, you someone sent you on a Komoda? Well, um, uh, if if you ever know any other simps who might uh, have a comet, maybe someone's got some keys to give you for a nice new Comet SR. You know, now oh. I know how fast you gotta go. Yeah, true, true. So um, uh, other than that, do you you in uh, you in anything else? What do you do for work? Um, I don't work. Oh, All right, work. your closing just statement, Mr. Black. Well, uh, I I hope that uh, having a good proposal up for you, and uh, maybe one day we can uh, take a ride in a Comet SR and uh, see where it takes us. Yeah, um, maybe. All right, Mr. Black, you got this last lovely lady here. Your time starts now. Hello, ma'am. What's your name? Hi, I'm Skylar. Hey, Skylar. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, what do you do for fun around the city? Uh, I like to fish. I love the smell of fish. Oh, you like the smell of fish? Um, <laughs> keep it down, peanut gallery. Um, 
So you you like to fish? Okay, you fish down by the docks or in the ocean? Like, uh, what's the, the biggest fish you got? Uh, I got this huge shark once. It was well, so fucking once. cool. Yeah, sharks are slimy though when you pull them out of the water. Like, you know, yeah. there's a lot of slimy things that you can get in the water, and the sharks are one of the one of the slimy things I like to touch. Halfway but I like time, bathing in that slime. It's fun. Yeah, you know it can be fun. Or it can be used <laughs> for other things, but you never know what uh where good slime comes from. But uh. I'm assuming you, you go fishing down in the ocean. I mean, maybe maybe a yes. nice boat. Maybe someone could take in a nice boat ride out to the middle of the ocean and uh, get fish together where it's quiet and peaceful. And mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Black, Sounds closing lovely. statement. You know, hopefully uh, hopefully it turns out that uh, maybe one day I can take you out on my boat and we can uh, go, go see what fish we can get out there. Thank you. All right, Mr. Black, if you want to follow me over here, we're going to let our lovely ladies deliberate for a little bit here. So how do you think you did there, Mr. Black? I'm not, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like talking to people, but you know what? I can, I can make a good conversation sometimes. You think you made some good conversation sometimes? Okay, okay. And uh, I have to ask you a rather personal question, Mr. Black. If you were to take one of these ladies home tonight, which one would you go with? Um, you know what? Quindly, I, I'm, I'm a the red there, uh, Callie. I'm a Personal Go fan ahead. of fishing myself, so I think uh, Skylar, Skylar might be a fun, uh, fun person to hang out with for a couple days. Fun person to hang out with and fish with. That's very yeah. nice. Very nice. All right. Well, I think they're just wrapping up here. Let's walk over there. All right. Well, let's take a look here. What the ladies scored with from the lovely Quimbley. We have a score of five out of ten. From okay. Callie here, we have a score of four out of ten. And lastly, from Skylar, a 6 out of 10. Congratulations, sir. If I had to get my personal opinion on this as an impartial judge, I'd probably say you did a pretty good job there. I'd give you a 6 out of 10. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. All right. Well, you're welcome to go sit down there with the crowd there, and we're going to bring on our next lovely contestant. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Suave, are you ready to go? Are you ready to show the world what it truly means to be a simp king? Ah, uh, yeah. So tell me a little about yourself, Mr. Suave. Enrico Suave. Ah, the ladies love me. The men hate me because they want to be like me. But it's okay. I'll just teach them my way. You'll teach them your way. And what is your way, Mr. Suave? Hey. Romantic. romantic. I ain't no simp. I'm romantic. No oh, well, I mean, this is the simp king that you're going for us, but we'll see how romance plays out. You're aware of the rules, Mr. Suave? It's fairly easy. We have three dashing ladies here in front of you. You will have one minute with each of them. One minute to pour out your love for them and anything else. I will let you choose which lady you would like to go with first, so whenever you're ready, go ahead and pick anyone. And you just let uh -huh. me know. Uh -huh. right. Start off with you. Actually, I'm gonna start off with all three of you because I'd call y'all queen, but honestly, y'all like goddesses in my eyes. Your timer starts now. Go ahead, Mr. Suave. Damn girl, where are you from? Texas. Texas? Oh. Honestly, you're out of this world. I ain't even gonna lie. Oh. I'm gonna be serious with you right now. Oh. I might not reach for the stars one day, but you're close enough. You know, I'm not addicted to drugs, but I can be addicted to you, honestly. The way you look, you just look dreamy, beautiful, amazing. How about uh, after this, I, uh, you know, take you on a date you know go out for some spaghetti some italian food you know have some fun you know mm -hmm. go jet skiing you know just have all fun and all that you know mm -hmm. how's that sound sounds perfect 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 that's Anything the only else, thing Mr. i Swan? see when i see you all right with that your time is up let's move on to this next lovely lady here your choice <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going with Q. I think this is Q. Oh, yeah, it's me. 
I'm sorry. Is it going this is so going to go? right now. now. Oh, honestly, Q, if I'm gonna be serious with you, yeah. You've always been the girl of my dream, and I still can't believe I still don't have you in my hands. Oh dear. You know, I've been mining all day, all for the last week, looking for diamonds. With honestly, I should have just been looking at you, cause girl, you shine bright like one. You know, I may not have found the one yet, and it's all right. But maybe one day, if you're single again, that could be you. Oh dear. Yeah. Anything else? I know you like. I know you like stripping at the strip club, and I heard you got a job there, and you left me at Taco. But honestly, you're still in my heart. It's still a girl in my eyes. All right, and that's time. Oh we my just got God, one Rico. lovely lady left here, Rico. All right, all right. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'd say I'd save the best for last, but honestly, all of you are all the best for me. Callie, you know, I always play with you. Mm -hmm. You're amazing to me. Mm -hmm. All I got to say is I don't deserve you. True. And you know what? I agree too. You're just beautiful, amazing. You look absolutely astonishing right now. And even though your heart gets broken every once in a while, I'll still be there to repair it every day, every night, for the rest of my life. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't try to put your sexy voice on for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know my voice is good and all, but this is. Come a on now. I'm just saying, you're the girl of my dreams. Maybe one day I can take you up. I can show you that. <clears throat> I'm not a light switch right now, Rico. You ain't turning me on. I'm not else, trying to turn you off. <laughs> all <laughs> right. That's, that's all for all three contestants. We'll give our judges here a moment to deliberate amongst themselves. If you just want to step over here with me for a moment, Rico. Yes, sir. Oh. So, Mr. Suave, how do you feel you did? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, she's pulling like out about a gun. shot. Oh, all right. How do you think you did there, Mr. Suave? Uh, honestly, I feel like I did pretty good, you know, I just, you know, when I see them, they're just perfect, you know, I just, it's so hard to, like, hit on them when they look absolutely beautiful. All absolutely beautiful, all perfect. Now, exactly. if I had to guess, I think I knew which one you would lay, lovely lady would like to take home, but if you had to choose among all those three, which lovely lady would you want to take home tonight? I'm going to be 100% with you and take all three. Take all three. Dang. Yes, sir. Man's a player. All right. Looks like our judges are almost done deliberating here. Give them another second there. Oh, looks like they got their scorecards. Let's go take a look here. All right, judges. Just mixing up your order there for me. Fabulous. All right. Take a look here. We got a 7 out of 10 from Quimberly. From Cali, we got a 6 out of 10. And lastly, a 7 out of 10. Miss Skyler. All right, Mr. Suave, if you would kindly. All right, let's head on over to grab our next contestant. As I was saying, we have five contestants. We're through to two. The only three of you left. We have Jay Pink, Mr. Valentine, and Will Burns. Who will be the most persuasive of all three? Who will be the best? And who will be crowned the Simp King tonight? We'll just stay tuned to find out. <laughs> so, Mr. Pink, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, you know, just a gentleman. Nice to treat ladies very well. Um, I like fast cars, and I like, you know, nice sunsets and walks by the pier. Walks by the pier, nice sunsets. Mm -hmm. Sounds very romantic. That's How nice. would you take a nice lady out for her first date there? You know, just drive around for a little bit, take her to some dinner, and then have a nice conversation by the pier. Fabulous. Ladies, if you wouldn't mind just moving a little bit closer over here there to your uh, right there. Uh, um, Mr. Pink, you know the rules there. You got one minute with each of these lovely ladies. Your choice of whoever you want to is all yours. Just let me know which one you're choosing and when you're starting, and I'll start the timer. Hmm. How long do I have to choose? 
You have 30 seconds. Hmm. Okay. 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 How about I start with... You. Okay. All right, your time starts now, Mr. Ping. Hi. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. What's your name? I'm Q. Okay, I'm Q. That's me. My name is Pink. J. Hi. J. Pink. Um, what do you like? What do you like to do? What do I like to do? Uh, mm -hmm. I just like to hang out with my friends, laugh. Okay, I'm cut. Yeah. All right, that's have nice. a good time. Because I'm, I'm gonna cut you the chase. I don't consider myself a uh, simp. I'm more of a gentleman. I just like to treat women very, very nicely. And once I win, we can take this car and, you know, take a walk on a uh, drive to the pier, uh, watch the sunset, and maybe have some dinner. Halfway through your time, Mr. Pink. Okay. Mm hmm. How would that sound? It, uh, that, that would sound nice. Sure. Okay. What else do you like? A little boring. I mean, boring? something okay. else? Oh, well, we could drive really fast up the highway and see how fast it goes. What if we crash? No, we won't. I'm a professional driver. All right, Mr. Pink, closing statement. Um, that'll be all, actually. All right. All right. All right, which lovely lady are you going to choose next? Hmm. Mm. All right. Let me go with uh, this one right here. All right, your time starts now. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Skylar. Skylar. Hi, Skylar. How you doing? Hi. My name is Jay. Hi, Jay. I believe we know each other, right? We uh, we are actually co-workers. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay, so we don't really know much about each other, but what is it that you like to do? Uh, I like to be creative, take pictures, read, be a homebody. Okay. Have you ever done a painting set? Have I ever done a what? Paint and sip. Mm, don't know what that is. You uh, paint pictures while you sip wine and listen to music. Oh, no, I'm not. Sounds fun. No, would you be interested? Yes. Well, well, once I once I win, we'd be uh, taking our car over to the nearest paint and sip. We'd uh, paint your, you know, whatever it is, is on your mind. Sip some wine and listen to your favorite music. Interesting. All right, closing statements. That would be all. All right. Let's move on to our last lovely lady here. Your time starts now. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? What's your name? It's Callie. Callie. How are you doing? I'm Jay. I believe we know each other as well. Yeah, we do. Seems like you're a little indecisive. Hmm. What do you mean by indecisive? What do you mean? You didn't know which ladies you wanted to pick. You took, you, you took a little while. Well, all of you are very beautiful, so I just couldn't make up my mind. You're right. Absolutely mm. right. Okay. Okay. All right, so um, I don't know much about you either. What does he like to do? Um, I like to go eat my outlaw around the mountains. Okay, all right, all right. So maybe we can get a trailer, attach it to the back of this um, comet over here, bring your mm -hmm. outlaws out to the mountains and ride around for a bit, get dirty. Yeah, you like getting dirty? I do, absolutely. I don't know, you're pretty well dressed. Hmm, doesn't mean I'll get dirty. What's your favorite way to get dirty? Favorite way to get dirty? Um, I like to work on cars, actually. Oh, for real? A bit of a grease monkey, yep. Yeah, so Anything if my car breaks down, you can, you can fix it, huh? Mm-hmm. I bet. All right, and that's time here. We'll give these lovely ladies here a little chance to deliberate among themselves. Let's step over here for a minute. So, Mr. Pink, how do you think you did there? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, first one, I kind of screwed up. Okay. Uh, I kind of fumbled it a little bit. Being but honest, I, still, I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely fumbled. Uh, but I feel like on the second one, I recovered very well. And then on the third one, I think I did. Oh, I think, yeah. Very well. Very, very big recovery in the second one. And I think on the last one, I you know. I think I drove it home. Drove it home, he says. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't have much of a clothing statement in either of them, but I feel like, uh, you know, the rest, you know, the introduction and the activities that we may be able to do. Now, Mr. Uh, Pink, between you and me, uh, if you had to take one of these lovely ladies home tonight, who would you take home? Hmm. I 
let's see. Probably Cali. Probably Cali says. All right. Well, it looks mm -hmm. like the ladies have their scorecards ready. Let's take a look here at how they said. All right. Same as you. Let's start from right to left here. From the lovely Quimberly, we have a five out of ten. From Cali, we got a six out of ten. And from Skylar, a six out of ten as well. Okay. Okay. And as the third, the fourth judge here, I will give you personally. I think you did a pretty good job. I'll give you a six out of ten as well, sir. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. If you just want to pop a seat over down there with the rest of our guests, we're gonna grab another one and take a look at them here. Hello, Mr. Valentine. How are you doing tonight? You know, chilling, chilling. Good like to hear, good to hear. Baby. So yes, tell sir. me a little bit about yourself, Mr. Valentine. You know, you know I just, I, I love women. You love women? I love women. Women and money. Yes, sir. It's all that drives you in life there? Nothing else, it Mr. Is. Valentine? Money, Money's power, power's money, and power buys money, and money buys power. You heard it here it's first, funny. folks. Money buys power. With that being said, Mr. Valentine, let's meet our three lovely ladies. Oh, yeah. Ladies, if you would come on down. Oh, yeah. All right, Mr. Valentine, you know the rules. You can choose whichever lady you'd like to start with. You have one minute. Your timer starts uh, now. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to be honest, Hi. though. I'm going to be honest, Quimbley. Yeah. Well, I've never been with an alien. What's going okay. on? I like your boots. I think. <laughs> anyway, so uh how you been? I'm good. That's good. Doing That's very well. Good. Uh how how's the uh lost? They don't exist anymore. What the fuck? Why? This, this isn't really simping. I, I, listen here. Charles. Charles, you are halfway through your time with Quimbley. Come oh, on! Hey, Quimbley, I'm gonna be honest though. What? I just bought a brand new house, all right? Okay. A brand new car, and I'm looking for marriage. Oh, What's shit, okay. On? I also need three kids, so. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, Charles, yeah. final statements for yeah, the lovely Lady Quimbley kids. here. Quimbley, I ain't gonna be fucking out. <laughs> you are a fine ass woman for real. Thank you, Charles. Right. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, Charles, next, your next choice, either lady. All right, yeah, we got Your go timer with... starts now. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> what is your name, Miss? Who, me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this, this is the Simp Queen, right? Yeah, you uh, got a lot going to do. Yeah. Kelly, I, 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 yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I really. I mean, wanna... have you have you been honest yet, though? That's what I'm asking. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. He said. He said. I'm gonna be honest about. You. L listen though. Listen though. Like like I told Quimbley, I just bought a brand new house. Mm -hmm. I, I got have a two. real. I got a real nice bed that we we could go use. I see you got that How long many hair. Pillows? So That's halfway 12. through, Charles. Twelve. 12 oh, pillows. I like pillows. Yes. yes. That's what I'm saying. But all I all I ask is that you take off those. Ugly ass pants, Kelly. Oh, my pants are ugly now. I mean, like I think it accentuates you, yeah. my ass. I, turn oh, wait, wait, do do a quick little twirl. Woo! Yeah, look at that thing. Closing statements, Damn. Mr. Valentine. So fly. Yo, Kelly, I'm gonna be honest. You dummy fine. All right, come on. All right, your last one, What's Mr. Your Valentine. Is? Your time starts now. I am Skylar. Skylar, Skylar, do you do you know who uh do you know who Magic Mike is? No. The you stripper? Never heard of yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alright, so for the remaining of this time, I'm just gonna dance on you like Magic Mike, right? Uh Okay. 
is what it is. Tyler, it is what uh, it is. I know you like that shit. You wanna touch it? No. No. Alright. I'm with you, Mr. Valentine. Alright, bet. I wrote this thing really simple and it's dancing. Nah, 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 nah. It's perfect. Chill out. Man, is this all you're gonna do is just dance up on her? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I mean, if I'm being honest, I'm I'm trying to kick off those boots, but <laughs> we can't do I that shit. I love these boots; stage. they match the outfit so. Final well. statement, Mr. Valentine. My final statement is: you you three women are very beautiful, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. All right, all right that is <laughs> time. Okay, Valentine, okay. you want to go hell ahead, yeah. stand over here next to me, there, yeah. okay. ladies. I'll let you deliberate amongst yourself for a moment here. Give man, them some I, privacy, Mr. Valentine. How are you feeling? Best, man, I, I wasn't prepared at all, brother. You feel me? I came in here right off the dome piece, straight simping. It is what it is. You feel me? Straight simping. Well, how yeah, do you yeah. think you did, Mr. Valentine? 10 out of 10. 10 dude. out of 10 for all the ladies. Yes, there. yes, dude. You you gotta hold your confidence level to a high standard, and you gotta think that the outcome is gonna be nothing but great. Now, Mr. Valentine, I gotta ask you one confidence. Yeah, it was good. What's up? Gotta ask you a personal question here. What's you up? know, just telling you. What are your thoughts? If you were to pick one, which lovely lady would you take oh, home tonight? Cali for sure, bro. I ain't gonna lie. To you. Cali for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why Cali. why do you why do you say Cali? Because Cali is just like dummy fine, bro. She's dummy fine. She's dummy fine. All right. Well, ladies, slap those cheats, fool. Looks like our ladies have yeah. deliberated and they have their scores here. Let's take a look here. Yeah, yeah. From the lovely Let's Quimberly, see. we Let's have a ladies. score of four out of ten. Hell yeah. From Skyler, we have a score of 5 out of 10. Yeah. And lastly, from Callie, a 3 out of 10. Hell yeah. Surprise, Judge. And if I had to give you my unopinionated score, sir, I'd say you got a 5 out of 10 on my opinion. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. But appreciate very good work, Mr. Valentine. Scores, Thank you very much for your assistance. You're welcome to wait down there in the mosh pit with the rest of the crowd here. And we'll resume shortly. <laughs> All right, ladies, I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab our next contestant. So many men. So few ladies. Each one with a unique way of simping on them. Each one bringing their own flair, their own piece de resistance of finding the perfect way to show that lady that he is the one true simp king. Let's grab our last contestant, Mr. Will Burns. Hello, sir. How are you doing this evening, Will? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm doing mighty fine. Mighty fine. So, Mr. Burns, tell me a little bit about yourself there. Well, my name is Will Burns. I'm from Tuscaloosa, Oklahoma. I'm a young 41, and 100% of the women I've dated have fallen in love with me. A hundred percent of the is. women. Mathematically, so now I just need to get that first date. Oh, Mr. Burns. <laughs> that first date's always the tricky one here. Well, Mr. Burns, you're aware of the rules. You have I three am. lovely ladies in front of you. You get one minute with each of them. I will let you choose whichever lady you would like to start with. Each one is certainly more beautiful than the last. Look at this man, simping before the timer's already started. Go ahead and start whenever you're ready, sir, then. Uh, I think I will start with Callie. Oh, well, All right, your timer starts middle. now. Go ahead. Callie, I could quote the chili peppers and mention Callie fornication. But your oh. laugh brings me joy like a two-week vacation. <laughs> Some men refer to y'all as bitches, but... Bitches, how rude! Not having sex on the first date doesn't make you a prude. Now, they might all give you flowers to get their golden showers, but I'm Austin Powers, shagging you into the future for hours. Oh. At every event, you're the one giving drinks, but when I think about my life without you, girl, my heart, it sinks. I'm not like someone else who might ask for Nutella, because I'll have you know, I am a stand-up fella. I love it. Anything else, Mr. Now, Burns? Where others might shank you, I'll say please and thank you. 
let you know in my life no other woman will outrank you. Now, does simp stand for simplicity? Might it just mean ease? A man sacrificing anything to give you what you please? All right, I'm going to have to cut you off there, unfortunately. That's been a full minute. All right, go ahead and choose one of the next lovely ladies as your contestant. All right, I will go with Quimbley. Hi. Quimbley, what words can I use to describe you, Miss Quimbley? I don't know. What words can I describe you? You fill my heart full of joy, like Queen playing Wembley. I've seen you in denim like the lost MC. So look into my eyes, get lost in love with me. Word on the street is that you sing like a dove. No wonder you got all these men fighting for your love. And you might be seen talking to a man named Westfall, but every man that you've met, you know you've impressed them all. You might see me out there fishing for a catch like you, looking for love, searching for something true. But if you care for war with other those other gentlemen, I promise I will not impede. I want you to have happiness, because that's all you need. And if you think there might be some magic between us, why don't you just say when Gardam Leviosa? All right. Amazing. And your last lovely lady here. Amazing. You certainly make my heart float. No more simping now. You got one <laughs> lovely lady left here. All right, Skylar. Hi. I've worked at recycling so I could learn to pick up. But the best line I can think of is just to ask you what's up. But maybe I could ask, how you doing? Like Joey. Who knows? Maybe that would lead to a blowy. These are the types of things that I don't know -y. But I'm out here trying to be a master of a simp because I couldn't find a cane that would make me a pimp. Plus, there's something in my pants that's a shrimp. But what do I see standing right in front of me? I see a flower that's so herbaceous. It's really making me quite flirtatious. And I'll treat you as delicate as a flower. I'll never use force. Well, I should say that's until intercourse. If you'd like to go back to the maison, I'll ask with the pont de maison. We'll relax by the pool, sipping on saison. And I guess I could write one more stanza to wrap up this whole simp bonanza. But let me know, let you know it's kidding before it's too late. Where I'd really like to start is asking you on a first date. Aww. All right, and that's time. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Prince, if you want to just step over here with me, we're going to let the ladies deliberate for a moment. How do you think you did there, Mr. Burns? I did as best as I could, sir. I let true love speak its course. True love, you say? You've never been on a first date. No, you... but I hope one of these days it might happen. Well, that's pretty, pretty great to hear, sir. So if I, you know, just between you and me, looking at all three of those beautiful ladies over there, which one would you want to take home tonight? Well, you know, I've always been a fan of that 1970s NBA and some Dr. J, so I might have to go for that Miss with the Fro. That Miss with the Fro, all right, taking count. More right, than look, you know. It looks like they got their scorecards ready. Let's take a look here. Okay, uh, okay, okay. From Quimbley, we have a score of 10 out of 10. From Callie, a score of 8 out of 10. And lastly, from Skylar, a score of 9 out of 10. Thank and if you I so do much, say ladies. so myself, those rhymes are pretty fly. I'd give you a score of 7 out of 10 there. Thank you, sir. Oh, God. All right, so there. Good. So you just want to. Actually, let's bring all of our other contestants back up to okay. the stage. All right, gentlemen. Here are your lovely ladies here. You all know your own score, and some of you have learned the scores of your other contestants here. Those who took the big risks and went first, versus those who stayed till the end and went last. You took the risks, you took the rewards. I got big but I balls. Think, I think our judges have tallied the scores here, and let's take a look. Let's see what the final score is. I'll let uh, Skylar take the announcement okay. there. We'll start from last place and go up to first there. In last place, there we go. in last place, we have uh, Charles Valentine. Woo! With his 17. He's not a simp. Ladies Woo! and gentlemen, we have a win. Hell, not a simp. <laughs> All right. Hold on, one moment.
I'm, I gotta Time to collect your gift package. basket. Yeah. Oh, my gift basket? Okay. You get a gift basket from the simp shop. Hell yeah. As the Simp King is an event sponsored by the Simp Shop and by Life Invader. Life Wait, Invader. So when, when, it's not technology. When it's do I your get life. The keys to my, my car? Oh, that's only for the first place the winners, lot. sir. <laughs> oh, what there the fuck? Go. I thought I won. Your last day, sir. All right, and in fourth place. Yo, she gave me a Viagra, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I like all this. Yo, Will here, bro. Will, and in, Will. And in, in fourth, fourth place, you're gonna is, need that Viagra, uh, Will, to bang it. Charles Black. Mr. Just Black. Mr. Will. I might need it. Congratulations, Andy. Mr. Black. Or Will, you can have it. <laughs> One's a life supply for me. All right, Mr. Black, come and claim your gift basket here. Oh, there you go, Mr. Black. All right, and in third place. Third place is Mr. J. Pink. So, Mr. Pink, not only do you win the gift basket, but you also win a fast lane loyalty card that is worth over ten thousand dollars. Congratulations. He's there enough, he'll get you shot of it. Mr. Pete? Come up and get your gift. Get that. Mr. Pink will get with you later to let you know who to contact with Mr. with Fast Lane. Alright, now the covenant is. Can I message something? We're down to two. Good luck. Nico Suave and Will Burns. Oh no! It's a tight race. Let's see. Who is going to be crowned tonight? The one, the only, Simp King. Da da da! Will Burns, you have won the first place. Congratulations, Mr. Burns. You are the Simp King. Oh my god! Not only do you carry the title of Simp King, you also win a brand new Comet SR! Comet Senior! Woo! Oh my goodness! Woo! No! And here's your pet. Thank you all so very much. Okay, Rico, we're not leaving you empty handed. We're giving you a gift package and $50,000 in cash prizes, straight cash. Oh, damn, Great sir. <laughs> Some might say right, it's even better. I'd like to thank every contestant for participating tonight and becoming and showing themselves for being the one true simp king. Hey, 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 congrats, uh, Will. Congrats. Thank you. Yes. Valiant hey, for by you, sir. Oh, this gentleman here has something he wants to say to the camera here for one minute. Hey, we folks, take a uh, I just wanted to tell you, I got, <laughs> I got a nice pair of ruby earrings and a ruby ring. I'm going right to the jewelry store selling this. Shit. He's going to go sell his winning at the jewelry you know store. What? You know what? I got something to say to the camera. So come here, Mr. Right, Charles. Come, come here. Come here. Come here, Charles. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Charles. We may not be the winners of the sim contest, but we did win something. We ain't simps, so oh, yeah. that's so the winner in my book. If there's any single ladies out there, all right, he's already up. lost my cause. <laughs> call me up, and I just might not sell this shit. It might be yours. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it a stack though. I want to congratulate Will. I want to also you, say sir. fuck you for winning. The car, <laughs> car was mine. Hey, Charles oh, Valentine. Oh, oh, Mr. Burns. Oh, no. What a bully. Mr. Burns. Oh, oh my okay? God. It's okay. I think I can be okay. I got lots of practice from that from my parents. 
Well, well thank you very much for all the contestants again and all our lovely ladies. You are thank you. For participating in the first ever Simp King event. <laughs>